Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Online Sunday School. Today, we have a very exciting lesson. We are going to talk about Jesus' baptism, and we're going to do a fun science experiment. So, first, let's read our Bible story from our Bible storybook. So, here you can see Jesus and John the Baptist and a dove coming down. No, Jesus is in the water being baptized. It's such a pretty picture, isn't it? So let's read. It's from the book of Matthew, chapter 3, verses 13 through 17. When Jesus grew up and was ready to begin his ministry, he went to the Jordan River to see John the baptizer. John was baptizing people in the river. Jesus asked John to baptize him, but John tried to stop him. I need to be baptized by you, said John. Jesus said to John, please baptize me. It is important for my ministry. So John agreed to baptize Jesus. When Jesus came up out of the water, the heavens opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God come down like a dove and rest on him. A voice from heaven said, this is my son. I love him. He makes me happy. So John baptized Jesus in the Jordan River. And John said, I'm not worthy to baptize you. You should be baptizing me. But Jesus chose to be baptized um, by John because it was important for his ministry. Um, have you ever been baptized? You may have been baptized as a baby. You may not remember it. Or you may have been baptized more recently, and you do remember it. Um, I was baptized when I was 10 or 11, I think. Um, but Jesus was baptized. If you've been baptized, Jesus was baptized just like we get baptized. Um, just because he was the Son of God didn't mean that he didn't need to get baptized or didn't want to. Um, he wanted to set an example for us in everything he did, and one of those things that he thought was important for him to do was be baptized. And that's important and significant for us because it connects Jesus to us and us to Jesus. It's something that um, we do in part because Jesus did it. And uh, it connects us to each other. We are kind of connected in the Holy Spirit, right? So in every lesson... Uh, every Bible story we read, we have a wonder question. So this week's question is, I wonder when have you felt God's spirit? In the Bible story, God's spirit came down from heaven like a dove. The dove that we saw in the picture, God's spirit came down from heaven. And I don't know about you, I've never seen God's spirit uh, specifically like in the form of something like a dove or like the burning bush that Moses saw or anything, but definitely felt God's presence with me at different times in my life. So um, you can take a minute to think about when you felt God's spirit or talk about it with your family. Um, see what, maybe they have a story to share too. Okay. So our science lesson for today is super fun. You may have done it before, but there's a chance you may not have. And even if you've done it before, it'll still be a lot of fun, I think, because it's cool. So uh, we're going to do a walking rainbow. That's what it's called in, like on Pinterest and stuff. Um, you will need some paper towels, or I don't have any paper towels, so I just have napkins. Um, something paper. Little clear cups or glasses, um, several of them. If you have some on hand, and then you'll need some food coloring. And you might need someone who takes care of you to help you with this, or at least help you set up the area because it might be a little messy because of the food coloring. And the water. We're going to add some water too. Okay, to set up your science experiment, you're going to get seven of your little cups or glasses in a row. And if you don't have quite seven, then you can use fewer. 
if you need to. Um, but I have seven, so I'm gonna show us with seven. And you're gonna need some water to pour into the cups. Okay, so uh, take your, cup, your seven cups and lay them all in a row. And you're gonna put water in the first, third, fifth, and seventh cups. So every other one. Um, fill them to where they're three quarters of the way full or so. And then you're gonna take your food coloring and add a different color to each cup. And you're gonna wanna put as close as you can the same amount of drops of food coloring in each cup so that it uh, so that they're all even, okay? So put your water in every other cup and then we're gonna drop our food coloring in, okay? So I'm gonna start with blue. Start with blue and I'm gonna put my blue in the first cup, two dots, and in the seventh cup, two dots. Then I'm gonna add red or pink to the third cup, two dots or drops. And then I'm gonna add yellow to the fifth cup, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth cup, two drops of yellow. My yellow is running out. Eh. Okay, cool. So, get your food coloring in all your cups, and then we'll do the experiment. We're getting ready to start the experiment. Okay, so uh, you wanna take your paper towels or your napkins and fold them into little strips um, so they fit in the cups really well and you might need to trim the ends because we just want them to sit over the edges of two cups and not have a lot of extra. They just need, the ends just need to be in the bottom of the cups. So fold your napkins. You need enough napkins to go over each one. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six napkins. Um, and then we get to start the experiment. So you're gonna take all your folded napkins, I kind of pre-folded mine, and then we're gonna put them in the cups, okay? Are you ready to see what happens? All right, I'm gonna hold it like this to see how it works. What do you think is gonna happen? With our experiment. Called the walking water experiment so hopefully the water walks okay I've started putting my napkins in my cups do you have any predictions about what's gonna happen so I'm just putting them over each edge of the cup what do you think is gonna happen it's called the walking water experiment water will travel maybe we're gonna find out. Okay, so once you have all your napkins in all your cups, we wait to see what happens. And this part may take a while because the water is traveling up the paper towels and whoop, up the paper towels and then down the other side so it may take a while you're gonna have to watch it carefully and see what happens look at this blue look how much the blue is traveling I'm gonna let my cups of water sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back and see what happens All right mine is kind of starting to change color so you see where the the blue and the red are meeting it's making a purple color and where the red and the yellow are meeting, it's kind of orangey. 
And then where the yellow and the blue are meeting, what color is it making over there? Green. So you might need to sit with your colors for a while. Um, my napkins did not work as well as maybe a paper towel would have. Um, but the exciting thing about science experiments is you can try them again and again with different amounts of water, different drops of food coloring, um, different kinds of paper towels or napkins. It's all just an experiment to see what happens, right? So it's pretty cool to see this rainbow of colors that we did for our science experiment. Um, I hope yours worked out really well. Mine worked out okay. I kind of needed to encourage it a little bit. Um, but I hope that you had fun doing the science experiment. And I wonder, why do you think we were doing these things with the colors? What do you think that, uh, how do you think that relates to our lesson? Well, there's a few different things that you might think of. Um, the colors, the, the paper towels and the colors running between reminds us of how we're all connected, like the paper chain, the paper towel chain across all our cups. Um, they're all different colors, but they're all connected, aren't they? And they make a beautiful rainbow. And it reminds us how we as people are all different kinds of people and we look different and we have different gifts and different things we're good at and different things we like to do and we're all just so different but all together we're really awesome and beautiful right another thing that this uh, paper towel rainbow experiment reminds me of is that we're all connected um, we're all connected because we know each other and we know God and we have relationships with God together. Um, we're all connected to Jesus uh, because Jesus came to earth to set an example for us and show us how to live and we believe in Jesus and we're connected to Jesus that way. So our experiment reminds us of how many different kinds of people there are and how wonderful it is that there are so many different kinds of people who are good at different things and who look differently and who have different things they're good at because that makes all of us um, so much better as a whole group, as a whole community. And also we're reminded that we're all connected through Jesus and we're all connected to God, right? Okay, so uh, after our lesson today, find someone, either someone who lives with you, someone who takes care of you or a friend and tell them about our lesson today. What was our Bible story? Jesus' baptism, right? And you can tell them about our science experiment and if that was fun for you and uh, why we did the science experiment, how it relates to our lesson. We're all connected and we're all different, okay? So uh, that's our lesson for today. I'm gonna keep my science experiment up for a little while and just watch the rainbow keep appearing brighter and brighter. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye.